House of Representatives on National Security and Intelligence has commenced the press of ensuring viral and strong laws to tackle insecurity in the country. This is coming against the backdrop of so many security challenges the country has been grappling with for some years now, which the House is determined to nip in the bud. The report. Virtually all parts of Nigeria are currently battling with one form of insecurity or the other, with various crimes going on. To put an end to this crisis, four bills are being proposed by the House of Representatives. They are a bill for an act to establish the National Commission against proliferation of small arms and light weapons and related matters, a bill for an act to repel the Explosive Act Cap E18 laws for the Federation 2004 and related matters, a bill for an act to make provision for the integration of private closed circuit camera CCTV infrastructure into national security networks in Nigeria and other related matters, and a bill for an act to designate the month of November as a national appreciation for security agencies and other related matters. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Badabia Miller, while declaring the interactive session open, says the bills are important for the well being of the country. He says the House is prepared to fulfill its obligation in protecting the lives and property of Nigerians. These bills should not be considered in independent of each other. To the extent that their goals are the same, the two responsible, the two responsible committees on national security and intelligence and treaties and protocols and agreements will work together to achieve the objectives of this bill. On behalf of the House of Representatives, I ask all of you to make full use of this opportunity to contribute your perspectives to improve these bills and protect our country in the best way we can. As I have always said, nation building is a joint task. We serve the best interests of our country when we work together in the collaborative efforts to build a society that allows all our people to live their best lives. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Sh Aban Sharada, assured stakeholders that their inputs will in no small way help in standardizing the nation's security apparatus. This committee appreciates the laudable initiative in the conduct of the summit and assures the right honorable speaker of utilizing roundabout recommendations in consideration of, the, of these bills to ensure the result-oriented outcome consistent with the House legislative agenda of ensuring enacted enactment of legal framework that responds to the current political, socio-economic realities of our time. Stakeholders at the event bear their minds on the proposed legislation with some amendments and suggestions too. Some of these countries that we are to have uh, border suites have no armory. They do not have armories. So most of their arms that are being donated by the, uh, let me, I don't want to be specific, by the developed countries, in the name of uh, assisting us to fight our problems, are compounding our problems in Nigeria. Because you find out that, and each average Sardian soldier, has 20 to 30 arms underneath his bed. When he's broke, he brings it out and sells it for $30, $20. I am here, I am standing here and I'm saying it. Since we are going to collaborate with ECOWAS and other countries that are donating such arms to these countries, I think we should insist that they should either enact laws to govern the handling of these arms and ammunition, or build an armory for these countries, or else we will not see peace. Covering the current state of insecurity in the country, the integration of the private CCTV infrastructure into national security network will further boost the ongoing fight against criminal activities, particularly kidnapping for ransom, among other criminalities. Now, if you want to consider, you talk about the residential areas that are made up of government quarters and private owned houses. Furthermore, all estate development companies in the country could be directed to include CCTV installation 
as a basic infrastructure facilities provided in their estates. Also, public places such as schools, worship centers, and hospitals, among others, should install CCTV. Another issue is that the government offices, premises, and streets should be considered for CCTV too. Agencies invited were the armed forces, Department of State Services, the police, EFCC, DIA, NDLEA, Office of the Security Advisor, Correctional Service, Center for Democracy, Red Cross, among others. The aim of the committee is to come out with a final legislation that will assist the fight against insurgency, banditry, kidnapping, and other crimes and criminality.